Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be setting up for a new comeback and some starting some new collections. Like I need more collections right now, right? Um, but anyway, so in case you haven't figured it out, we are in the white binder. There's only two groups in here if you've been around for a while, 17 and Hypen. And Hypen already had a comeback, so today we are going to be working on 17's new comeback. I did buy two sets from K-Town for you at the end of last month. Um, it is set to release on the 18th of this month, I believe. I'm not sh entirely sure off the top of my head if I'm wrong. I will put it up here in the cards. I don't know if this will get out, if this will come out before um, their comeback, but it will definitely come out before I get my albums and post an unboxing. So let's go ahead and we'll go over the specs real quick. I have my work phone on hand to do this. So there are three versions. There's one side, other side, and B side. You get a photo book. Oh, it looks like there's actually random photo books for each one. Um, for one side, you get you have a chance of getting one of three. For other side, one of two. And for B side, one of five. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it is what it is. You get the lyric book, which is it looks like it's the same through each one. Three different CD versions. Um, and then there are you get one random postcard out of 13 for each um, version. So one side has 13 possible, um, other side has 13 possible, and B side has one of 13 possible. So we're already at the point where like, if you collect three members, you have to buy three of each version to have enough pools. So I collect three members, um, I bought two sets, so I will have enough to collect for two full members, um, but I will probably have to buy the other one, which is fine. I do that for most of my 17 stuff anyway. <laughs> um, in B side and one side, you get one of 13 random mini cards. And again, it's another one where there's 13 random for one side and 13 random for B side. In other side, you get one of six random unit cards. Um, and then for each version, you get one of 13 random member photo cards. So again, 13 random for each one, one of each member. Um, there's also a sticker for each one, a bookmark for each one, and a poster that you get random one of four, no matter what it is. Um, so, yeah, so that's the specs. So, it almost looks like the unit cards are going to be the same size as the postcards, and then the mini cards are probably about the size of some of the mini card stuff that came in 17. So, let's go ahead and we will get ready and set everything up. I did go ahead and I got the photo card things ready at least, um, and I do have my sticky notes here so that I can write the things down um, for the other ones and tape them on. So I'm going to grab my pocket pages and a pen and we will get ready to go. All right, so we're going to start with the nine pocket pages and we're just going to go right to the very end of the 17 section, just after these random things here. And because there's only one photo card for each member for each version, that means, and I'm collecting nine, or sorry, three members, that means there's nine photo cards total, which means they will all fit beautifully on one page. Now, I do want to see how, oh, okay, that's how I did it, and I did them up and down. So I think I want to do each member across, so like this, so we'll do June in one row, Run one row, one row, Wano and Wano in one row, and DK in one row. So yes, that's what we're going to do. I'm just gonna slip these in here real quick. I don't know if you guys have been following the 17 comeback, if you guys stay in 17 or if you collect them, um, but I am in love with the concept photos they've been dropping. They look so freaking cute, and I think I'm going to love this concept. I also do really like the packaging for your choice. I think it's really cute, so I'm excited to see just everything when it comes out. Okay, perfect. So that's what we have for that, and then we'll put the bigger stuff. I usually don't set up for the bigger stuff. Um, I'll have three mini cards, three of the unit cards. Well, and the thing is, I don't know who what the units are, so I don't know if I'll be collecting all three unit cards. I would like to have June's, Wano's, and DK's unit, and if they're all in different units, then it would be three, but if not, it would be less. And then three of the postcards. I don't know what size they are, so I don't know if they'll fit into four pockets, but I think I'm gonna put that in three pockets just to be safe. So for the post, what did I say? The postcards and the unit cards are about the same. So we'll operate under the assumption that there's going to be six total. And I'm just going to put in one three pocket page because I can double side it um, if I need to. And then for the mini cards, because 
I think they'll probably fit in a four pocket page. I'm going to go ahead and put in a four pocket page. So what I'm going to do is, <laughs> sorry, I have a little sticky note here with um, all the things written down on it. So I know what is what. So for these, it's going to be the postcards. So we'll do, oh, this is a brand new pen in case you couldn't tell it had a little thing on it. So. So we'll do June postcard and I'll tape these down then once I get the tape ready. And we'll do Wano postcard and then we'll do DK postcard. And I'm going to go ahead and tape these down so that they don't fall off. And then on the back side, I'm just gonna prepare, like there's going to be three unit cards. So I'm just gonna do unit one. Unit two. And unit three. And like I said, if there's less than if like they overlap in their units and they're not all in separate ones, then obviously this won't be filled up like this, but for now it'll stay like this. Right. And then for over here, this is where we're gonna do the mini cards. Oh, so there's actually gonna be six total because you get one of 13 in one side and one of 13 in these sides so I'll actually need a second four pocket page which is fine or no no I'm gonna use one because I'll I'll double side them because if they're as thin as the semicolon ones then I'm not gonna worry about it <laughs> so let's see we'll have sorry if this is crooked but I need it to be able to write so we're gonna do June mini card one side And then we'll do June mini card decide. Ooh. And then we'll do the same thing for Wano. Wano mini card one side. And then Wano mini card. Pletus, why did you decide to do it this way? <laughs> I'm just curious. I would just like to have a discussion about why you decided to do this. <laughs> I mean, I know other companies, and I'm sure maybe Pledis has probably done it in the past. Um, I'm really only familiar with Hengede and Ode and semicolon inclusions. Um, but why would you do random inclusions that are different in each version? I mean, unless you have a limited version, but I d I'm not getting the impression that other side is going to be like a limited version, so I'm not entirely sure why you decided to do things this way other than to just be difficult so I don't I don't know hopefully they won't do it again in the future because it's kind of annoying I would rather you just do the same things across the board for other inclusions so but that's that's just my opinion what do you guys think about it I think it's kind of annoying <laughs> but any hoozy so yes and then we'll put DKs on the back of June's and that is where we're going to stop that. Oh, did I put these in before? Dang it, I put these bigger pages in, not where I wanted them to be. <laughs> I like the photo cards to come first and then the bigger inclusions. So let me fix that real quick. It's a really quick fix, nothing too serious. Just gotta pull these guys out. And luckily it's just two pages. And I'm gonna put it back here. And yes, I know I probably should have used blue or purple. Um, if you saw sticky notes, if you saw when we were going through um, <laughs> the colors of the photo cards, looks like they were blue and purple, but um, like at the backs, but there was green in the cover and I just wanted to do a bright color because I thought it would fit well. But so yes, this is what we're working with. We're gonna have all of June's PCs, all of Wano's, all of DK's in one row. That should fill up a page nicely. Then we're gonna have the individual member postcards on one, the front side, and on the back, we'll have the unit cards. Again, this may change. I don't know exactly what the units are, so 
that may be different. Um, and then we'll do the mini cars, we'll do Junes, and then Wanus, and then on the back of Junes we'll have 50Ks. So that is it for this collection, this comeback. I'm super excited. Be on the lookout for when I get those albums and I do an unboxing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and switch over to another binder because there's another collection actually like three little collections I'm starting and um, I'm sure you won't be surprised when you see who it is but let me grab that binder and we can go ahead and do that real quick. So I am back with a black binder which yes does mean I am doing <laughs> and I am adding in a few new Monsta X collections. Please don't hate me. Um, I do have all of the cards here but I'll go ahead and let you guys know which ones I'm doing. I am starting a trust I'm starting OT seven sets. So the first two that I'm do the first three that I'm doing are Trespass, the Clan Part One, um, and uh, there we are here the U.S. photo cards that were um, in the U.S. or the American copies of the albums. And I did start on all of these already. I have all of the Trespass PCs on the way in if they're not here already. Um, I do have all but one of the Clan on the way. Most of them are coming from Mercari Japan. I'm missing one Kian, so if you want to check out my Instagram and see which Kian I'm missing, if you have it, if you want to trade or sell, please hit me up. Um, it's very hard to find. His other one was hard to find, but I did manage to find it on Mercari Japan, um, but the other one is a little bit harder. And for We Are Here, I have five of the seven members, so I do have decent progress. I'm not going to put the photo cards in in this video. I'm going to leave that for an updating my binder collection, but I do want to get this done. Um, I don't know what'll come first, this video or the updating my binder collection, so if you see- I'll try to put this first so that way um, it's not a super big surprise when you guys are watching my bind updating my binder collection, like, when did you start these? <laughs> so that's what I'll try to do, but I can't make any promises, so it might not actually happen that way. Um, but yeah, so let me grab some nine pocket pages here, and we will go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is, um... I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but I did start a new um, Monster X binder because my one black one was getting kind of big. So this is my Hyungwon, Wano, and special PCs. I have started collecting a few special PCs as well. Um, I started, I got a few um, Japanese um, photo card sets on um, Mercari Japan as well, and um, I'm starting to collect one of the Monster X University sets too as well. Not the most recent one, the one where they're wearing like the hoodies. I just think they're so cute. Um, but so those will go in here. I'm not going to set up for those though. Um, I am going to set up. So since <laughs> Young Wan is eventually going to be joining all of the sets, I'm not going to keep him separate. Um, this will eventually just turn into um, OT7 sets pre follow. Um, and Young Wan might actually get his own binder at some point, depending on um, you know how long I keep collecting. But I think I'm going to put the OT7 sets. Before Wano, but and after Hyung Wan. And I think, I know you guys can see I have some random OT7 stuff back here, so I think I'm gonna put the ones that I'm actually working on before this, just for now, because I want Hyung Wan to be at the front, but we'll figure that out then, um, obviously, as things start to move around. I actually don't have any of his photo cards for these things in my binder already. They're, I have them in um, my little container to add during my updating my binder collection, but I don't actually have them in here, so I don't have to do any moving around yet. I will probably move stuff around in his section off camera um, just because it's going to be very minor when it starts happening. So, But yes, so I have four nine pocket pages, which is all I should need. Um, I'm going to do them in chronological order, so Trespass will go first. Um, I do also need some black sleeves. Alright, so up first we have the Trespass set, and for all of these I'm just going to do a standard 7 layout. So it'll be one, or I'm sorry, Shonu, Wano, Minyak, Kian, Hyungwon, Juhan, and Changhyun. I am super excited to be starting these OT7 sets. My wallet is not so excited, but... <laughs> Monster X is my old group, and I've completed their Follow, Fantasia, Fatal Love PC sets already, um, and I'm sure one of a kind will only take about a month and a half, and I'll obviously have plenty of time um, between their most recent comeback that just happened and their next one um, to start, you know, working on some stuff in between. I do want to make sure that I'm also putting um, energy and attention into other collections, but for the most part, most of my other collections are pretty 
on par. The only one that probably needs a lot of work yet is 17, obviously, because I haven't bought any Hengede albums. I do have a few trades and stuff that came in, um, but for the most part, uh, yeah, it needs work. <sighs> um, I'm just going through and flipping these and separating them. So for the clan part two, there are two versions, Innocent and Guilty, so I'm collecting both, and I'm going to separate them by their um, version per page. So I'm going to put Guilty on the first page and then Innocent on the second one, um, just because it's the, the best way to organize them and cake up as much room on a page as possible. So, yes. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to work on some more OT7 sets in between comebacks. I really need to work on my 17 collection, specifically Hengede. I'm still waiting to hear back from that person I joined a group order for to get most of my DK and Ode PCs. Um, as of right now, I have June completely finished. I'm only missing one of Wanu's photo cards. I'm not talking about bigger inclusions, obviously, with the stuff with those either, because I'm not, like, bigger inclusions for older albums are not a huge priority for me. Um, for 17 at least, but I have gotten, um, I do need to work on their stuff a little bit more. Um, treasure, I would like to get, try to get finished up a couple, but like the last PCs are needed or like really hard ones to find for the numbers that I collect that I have left. So, um, yeah, that might not happen anytime soon, but I would like to try and get it them mostly done before Treasure's next comeback, which... Will probably be soon. I kind of thought they were going to announce one like in June or like halfway through as of uh, me recording this, which is crazy to say that we're halfway through June already. Like, where is the time going this year? I swear it's like just flying by. Maybe it's just because I'm an old person now and time really does fly by when you're older. Um, but yeah, I don't know where it went. Um, but yes, yeah, so those are two that I would like to work on. Also, Everglow. Um, I've been working on that one pretty passively as well, um, so I would like to work on that. And Hypen, for the most part, is okay. I have my binder set up to collect Sungmoon from their first, um, Border Day 1 as well, but I don't know if I'll actually end up doing that. We'll see. <laughs> um, those photo cards are so expensive and Sungmoon's so hard to find, so if that is something I pursue, it's going to be very, very slowly. And only during months where I'm just working on old, getting collections caught up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so now we're on to the We Are Here US PCs following the same layout as before. Um, a lot of these OT7 sets are probably going to end up following this layout just so that way it doesn't take up as much room on a page. Um, <laughs> because I love my seven member group. Monstax will always be seven members. But it's very hard to uh, <laughs> to do any other layout but this if you want to save as much space as possible. So. Yes, these are the last two. Grab two more sleeves. So yes, that is it for this. That is it for this section. Um, these are the only three sets that I am doing as of right now, and they're almost done. So I might add another one in um, to work on when I have some more time and more funds to spend. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's probably gonna be on the shorter side, um, but that's good. So we like to mix it up on this channel when we can. Uh, make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you like this content. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!